We are lucky enough to be here at the Bell headquarters, R&D production, marketing, everything happens here. Chris Sackett from Bell is going to show us the new Pro Star helmet. We've got the Star, the Race Star, and the Pro Star. And the main difference between the helmets is your, your Star's got the carbon Kevlar, fiberglass, basically what we call a trimatrix shell. Uh, blends carbon, Kevlar, and fiberglass together to provide a very light shell at this price point. You know, this helmet right here is in retail for $4.99. Then you've got the Race Star. Now, this helmet's going to be more race oriented. It's going to have quite a few different features that your, your Star doesn't have, which is Virus. Many of you might be familiar with Virus. A lot of road racers are using it, a lot of motocross guys, but it's an antimicrobial, antibacterial fabric made out of uh, crushed jade. It's a nanofabric, so they take crushed jade from the jewelry uh, market and they actually embed it into the fabric and it's cool to the touch. It helps regulate temperature and control body temperature. It basically acts as a heat sink. So whether you're cool or warm, it's gonna help regulate your body temperature. It's also gonna keep from getting smelly and whatnot. We've got magnetic cheek pads. So if you're familiar with our Bell Moto 9 motocross helmet, we put the magnetic cheek pads into our street helmet. It allows you actually to pull the cheek pads out. Uh, if you have a suspected C-spine injury, we can actually pull the cheek pads out, emergency release cheek pads, you pull them right out, and enables the, the medical technicians to get the helmet off the head much, much easier. Uh, what you can't see, we're now introducing the Moto9 Flex Liner into the helmet too. So we've got the Flex Liner, which is three different parts. You've got your traditional EPS, which is covered here by an overmolded plastic piece to protect it. And then you have um, a softer material called EPP on the inside. Um, and then you have an even a more soft material on the inside here called EPO. And it basically acts like a progressive suspension system in a race car or race truck. The harder you hit your head, the more foam you're going to engage. The softer you hit your head, you're going to rely on these softer foams to really cushion that impact. And so what you get is a helmet that performs across different impact scenarios, whereas before helmets were manufactured to pass a standard which was a high impact. So you did a great job managing at the high energies, but at the low energies, you might see a little bit more um, energy absorbed in the head because of the, the foam was uh, too stiff. So this technology right here is basically probably the most revolutionary thing that's happened in helmets in 50 years, to be honest. Um, so we're introducing that in the Race Star. Uh, one of the common features across all the helmets is the Panovision shield. You'll notice the shield's got a cutout right here, and you wouldn't notice it, but when you actually do head checks, and you look back over your shoulder, this is going to allow you to see a lot more of what's behind you without having to turn your head as much. And we've noticed in, in racing scenarios and on the track that you're able to see someone coming up on the inside of you much quicker than you would if you didn't have that. Um, you know, for people who ride on the street, you're going to be able to see cars as you turn your head um, a lot easier. So you're not going to have to turn your head as far to see them and it won't take your eye off the road as much. So this is a very uh, new feature for us. We spent a lot of time designing and developing this. We also widen the field of view here, um, give you a lot more visibility out of the top of the helmet. Um, we've introduced a class one optic shield. So the shield is now class one optics. The clarity on these shields, you're not gonna find a shield that's more clear. It just, it makes a huge difference when you're riding. If you're riding for a couple hours on the bike, you're not, your eyes aren't straining to look through a shield that's blurry or fuzzy. So pretty, pretty awesome. And the system we've built is just, it's so seamless and smooth and it works so nice. Get a great seal. You're also able to pull it off very simply. I mean, it's one of the, you're not going to find a shield mechanism easy to, uh, to operate. Um, we also have available for, for all the stars, um, transition shield. So it transitions from light to dark and anywhere in between, uh, depending on the light conditions. And that's an option we're going to have for all three of these. This model comes in 3K carbon fiber, uh, and that's the Race Star. This will retail for $750 to $799, depending on the graphics. Um, and then, this is a model right here that we debated on even doing. It's the Pro Star. This is actually the helmet we'll be making and producing for road racers. And the original thought was we were going to make this for our racers only. Um, it's made out of Techstream carbon fiber, and this is the lightest carbon fiber material that we could use on helmets. It's what they use in F1 on the bodywork. So on a limited basis, we're going to have this available to, to the consumers who, who want it. Essentially, it shares the exact same features as the Race Star, but we upgrade the carbon fiber technology 
um, the TechStream carbon. It drops 120 grams, so 20% of the weight, the weight of the shell. Um, it's significant when you're road racing, you know, having that much weight off, the, off your head when you're leaning over really helps. This is a helmet that will live on for quite a few years and we're expecting great results. The fact the amount of money and time and energy and thought we put into this. Um, you know, a lot of our riders were involved in developing this. Uh, Josh Heron in the beginning provided a lot of feedback. Then we brought in Cameron Bovier and Jake Gagne. And um, they literally tested it for two years up until the time we launched prior to us launching. So these guys raced, and our racers raced in this helmet all of last year. And that was for them to put the final touches on the helmet. We made quite a bit of changes uh, based on their feedback. Um, we've actually, up until just two months ago, we were making changes on the helmet based on their feedback. So um, what we guarantee you when you buy this helmet that it's been tried and true and tested and that it's going to perform prior, exceed most people's expectations.